we need to write the numbers below in words. So here we have seven digit numbers. And when seven digit numbers are written out, we either have two spaces or two commas like we have here. And these help us to write the number in words or to read the number because the first comma or space always comes after the millions digit and before the hundred thousands digit and then the second comma or space in the number separates the thousands from the hundreds. So first we can look at the digit written before the first comma. We have a nine so we can write nine million. Then we look at the three digits between the commas or spaces. We have 291, so we have 291,000, because remember the thousands digit comes before the second comma. So then we can just look at our last three digits. We have 536. So our number is 9,291,536. Now let's look at this number here. Before the first comma we have a 4, so that's 4 million. Then remember we look at the three digits between the commas because that tells us how many thousands we have. We have 590, so that's 590,000. Then we look at our last three digits. But here we have zeros as our last three digits zeros in our hundreds, tens and ones. So we don't need to write anything after the word thousand. Our number is 4,590,000. So now here before the first comma we have a six, so that's six million. Then we look at the three digits between the commas because these are our thousands digits. We have zero seven zero. But we can ignore the zero at the start. We have 70,000. This zero is only here to show that we don't have any hundred thousands and the six is in our millions, stands for six million. Then we look at the last three digits, so the digits after the second comma. We have zero four zero, so that's 40. Now rather than writing a comma after the word thousand, because we don't have any hundreds, when we write the number in words, we can just write and 40. So we still have a comma if the number's written in digits, but when we're writing numbers in words, if we don't have any hundreds, we can just write and and then the number. So our number is 6,070,040. Now here, before the first comma, we have a four, so that's 4 million. And then we look at the next three digits, so the digits between the commas, because this tells us how many thousands we have. But here we have zeros in all three of our thousands digits. So we don't write the word thousand. Instead, we just move on and look at the last three digits. We have 800, so our number is just 4,800,000. We don't write the word thousand because all the digits in our thousands place values, so in our hundred thousands, our ten thousands and our thousands are zeros. And if we have zeros, we don't write anything.